don't touch me. Today I'm in a very wet infrog to give you some tips on how to avoid culture shock in Austria. Rule number one, to talk eloquently is a great art, but an equally great one is to know the right time to stop. This quote from Austria's famous composer Wolfgang Mozart gives a sense of the somewhat reserved nature of the locals. Rule number two. While it's true that Austrians are somewhat reserved, they are also well able to let their hair down. A good example of this is when you see them on the ski slopes during ski season, up on the tables dancing, showing the rest of Europe how to throw a good party. Rule number three. What is the difference between Austrians and Germans? A German will say a situation is serious but not hopeless, whilst an Austrian will say the same situation is hopeless but not serious. This saying might give you a flavour of how the Austrians are just a little bit more relaxed and less reserved than the Germans. Whatever you do though, don't compare Germans with Austrians as this will go down like a lead balloon. Rule number four. Austrians are reasonably direct and formal in terms of their communication style. However, do open up once you get to know them. And the fun fact for Austria is, even though Beethoven was born in Germany in 1770, he actually spent most of his adult life living in Vienna. He battled deafness from the age of 26 and actually went on to compose some of his most famous work while profoundly deaf.